Hello and welcome back for another clean with me. We have been extremely busy these last three weeks on different house projects like this one. This is a sneak peek of our kitchen here. And we've also been hosting multiple parties. So my son turned three at the first week in February. We had a family party for him that weekend as well as this past weekend. We also hosted a Super Bowl party. And then at the end of January, I also helped host a, a baby shower for my sister-in-law. So we have been very busy in this house and there's just a lot of things that I am wanting to go in full nesting mode at this point. I officially entered my third trimester. So I am just ready to get everything clean, all these projects done just in case if a little girl shows up early. So, so we're going to jump right into it today. Let's get going. For Declan's third birthday party, we asked him what he wanted to celebrate with, what theme, and we love to have him help pick out since essentially it's his party. So he wanted a monster truck birthday party. So I was trying to think of a fun way to tie in monster trucks besides just doing the typical monster jam. So for his third birthday present, the big present from Shane and I, we're actually taking him to monster jam here in a few weeks. So I was trying to find some inspiration from different color schemes and I really found, I really like this like pastel like neon monster truck set that I found on Amazon. And I used that for inspiration and I decided to do Dec it's called Declan's Dirty 30 and he absolutely loved it. He literally has been sleeping with his monster truck in his room almost every night. So it definitely I think was a win. So now I'm just going ahead and picking up like all the sweets that we had. I swear we had between cupcakes, cakes, cookies, Valentine's Day, then we had a Super Bowl party. We just had so many. Shane's grandmother makes us like a huge batch of cookies for like big holidays and events and things and they're our favorites but we like to snack on them throughout the year. So I went ahead and put these in a freezer bag and freeze some of them up because I know when baby girl comes between Shane and I we're probably going to do some late night snacking so I went ahead and put pop those in there now. Really cool tip somebody shared with me anytime you host a kids party in particular or you know you have like a young adult crowd or parents we set up here we had a water canister and then we also had an iced coffee canister so we had an entire iced coffee station earlier so i'm just go ahead and put our coffee makers back in place I swear, if this area is in disarray, it's a weird start for the start of our day. Shane and I actually have all of our stuff pre-programmed most of the time, so we come down in the morning, everything's all set and ready to go for us. We have had our Nespresso Virtuo here for over a year now, and it's still our favorite. We really love the cafe collection, as well as right now I'm loving the half-calf and the decafs being pregnant. If you have any suggestions on any of the pods that you're really liking, let me know below. There's a lot of the holiday seasonal ones that I loved. Like I really like the pumpkin spice one. There's a gingerbread one. Is there anything really good that's coming out for this upcoming spring? Let me know in the comments below some of your favorites or some of your favorite Nespresso um, coffee recipes. One thing I will suggest that if you are looking at getting married here soon or you know somebody that is, go ahead and get them all the entertaining things that you might not think to put on your registry. So I made sure to put a lot of like neutral plates, big serving dishes. We had um, this container here where I put like all of our silverware and serving things. That is a huge help, especially when you go to host because it's, sometimes it's like last minute things that you're like, oh man, I wish I had an ice bucket or I wish I had a like a clear water canister and things like that. So like I said, I always try to buy like neutral stuff. So like white, black, acrylic. I've also found some really nice wooden tone, like pie plates, dessert display things, anything along those lines are great to add. Sometimes you don't think about that kind of stuff you might need in the future for birthday parties or bridal showers you might be hosting or just get togethers with friends. So it's something I always tell people ahead of time. This is one area of the house that I'm extremely grateful to have. It's this wet bar that's in our dining room and it's literally an extension off of our kitchen. 
Shane and I were going back and forth on if we were going to paint the cabinets here, but I think for now we're going to leave them that wood tone because it kind of looks like a furniture piece. But we're really excited to make this kind of like our baby prepping station for like bottles and different things because it's out of reach, out of sight, out of mind in our kitchen. And it's nice and clean area where we can keep baby girls bottles nice and sanitized. So if you have any suggestions on some tips and tricks that you like to use for your bottle making stations or how you like to store your baby bottles or pump parts or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. If you are also interested in a video on watching how I organize and prepare for baby girl, those will be coming here soon, probably in late March, early April. When I was going through the Valentine's Day candies, I found these Kinder Abueno little bite-sized pieces and I was so excited. It brings me back to when I was in elementary school. One of my best friends, her family was from Sweden and I got a chance to go over and stay with them. And we ate these in the airport while we were overseas and they couldn't really buy them in the US at the time, but now you can find them everywhere. And I was so excited because it brought me right back to my childhood. I'm just going back and picking up all of our entertaining big bowls and our ice bucket, our acrylic cupcake stand. I have these cupcake trays that we use that's nice. It keeps every cupcake in place and so nothing gets smushed. I believe it's by Wilson. I can go ahead and tag those below if you're interested. But like I said, these are some of the pieces that I've got over the years just anytime we entertain. This acrylic cupcake stand is awesome. I got them on Amazon for when Declan had his first birthday party and I've used it probably a dozen times since. It's perfect, it's really inexpensive and they're really easy to take apart and store. So I will do my best to go ahead and link a lot of my favorite party entertaining stuff. I can go ahead and put in my like to know it as well as the comments below if you're interested. much as this table took so much effort to get into this house, I am so glad it was able to come in. It was so great to be able to have all of our family and friends surrounded by it throughout the holiday season, as well as everyone saying happy birthday to Declan. Shane and I both remarked it was like we both had chills, like hearing the amount of people singing happy birthday to Declan this year. It, because in the past, we always have had to do virtual ones just due to the pandemic, as well as being like anywhere from five to nine hours away from most of our family. So it was really nice and it was so cool to see Declan's big smile on his face when he realized everyone was there to celebrate him. So there's nothing like moments like that. this balloon was trying to hold on as long as it could and it just reminded me a lot of how I felt at the end of this week just trying to finish up everything. One thing I will say is if you use an at home helium tank the latex balloons do not quite last as long as the foil ones so I would recommend if you're going to buy one definitely do it at like one to two hours before your event it just makes them last a little bit longer. I would say probably by the next morning, a lot of them were already like halfway deflated, but the foil ones were still holding on really well. Um, his party was on last Saturday, right before the Super Bowl. So like I said, as you and I filmed this on Wednesday, so you can see like the foil ones are still holding on really well. So just make sure you time it appropriately to get the best results and opportunities for your balloons. I apologize for the lighting in this part of our kitchen. For some reason, it pulls a yellowy tone. I'm not sure if it's our light bulbs or if it's just the fact that it was like a dreary day. But anyway, so this is an accurate representation of our house here in February. So like I said, Declan's birthday is the week before Valentine's Day. So I took down a lot of the Valentine's Day decor that I put up in the previous video, which I can tag here if you're interested in watching. But 
it was so close to Valentine's Day that I was like, I just need to take everything down so I can focus on his birthday and party supplies. So that's what we did. So like I said, a little bit of monster trucks and a little bit of Valentine's Day. share with you what we use to blow up a lot of his balloons so we have the balloon time helium tank it says um, inflates up to 39 inch latex balloons um, I did see on the instructions that they say you blow it up between one to two hours before your party for helium balloons and then if you have the foil ones they said they can last up to four days which honestly that completely held true all of our Helium ones that were filled with latex all were deflated by the end of the party and any of the ones that were like the checkered flags or his big monster truck are still somewhat floating. Um, the kit that I got was on Amazon. I can go ahead and link that below for you guys. Um, I think it's from Big Dot, but it's really cute. They have like a bunch of different um, neon like monster trucks and they have like these different sets so i took the color scheme from a too fast too furious theme but obviously with declan turning three i went ahead and ordered a big number three balloon which i showed you in a clip earlier um just switch out the number but then i bought the kit for the too fast too furious so the one bundle that i got for him it came with these like blow up tires they're actually really good quality we used one of these to hang up on our mailbox as well as on our front door so we made it like a wreath then we took one of the extra kits that I had and ju we just hung it. The monster truck in the center. This is the Too Fast, Too Furious set. And it came with a balloon arch, which I ended up not actually using because I just ran out of time and I didn't have, I love doing balloon arches, but. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and save some of those in case if we have another boy down the road or if my sister and brother or anyone we know in our family that want, if they have boys, if they wanna use any of this theme. So a lot of times what I do is I will take and gather um, all this extra stuff that's worth saving and I'll put it in a tub and I just label it like birthday party supplies. One thing I'll tell you is that the weights that I showed you earlier, these were a great find. When we lived in Ohio, I got these for Declan's first birthday and I've used them every single year since. So we just go ahead and blow up our balloons with the balloon time pump. Each of these were like $2 for a weight. I think I grabbed six of these total. So those are awesome to have. Um, anytime you plan a party theme, I really, really recommend going, finding inspiration from different things. So like whatever your kids are into at the time, you don't always have to pick like the party bundle kits. You can pick like a neutral color scheme or things that you can reuse. So I, anything that I've ever bought for entertaining, I try to buy the clear acrylic. I buy, buy black and white, any neutral colors, anything like that that can use across the board for either theme. I just know like with little girl coming, her color schemes might be a little bit different than Declan's. So we'll see um, if I would, hopefully I can reuse a lot of them. But some of the bundles, like I was explaining that I got, I had like the clothespin garland, which I showed you. They came with the various monster truck sizes. So they had the big ones and then these little ones that you could scatter if you wanted around. I had the giant happy birthday banner that's over here. which was cute when we put it on our mantle. And I'm trying to think what else. They had like a bunch of different things that you could add to it. They had confetti things that you can sprinkle on the table. I just tried to find the things that I thought were actually worth it. And then we, Declan's really into doing like photos right now. So I did get him, this was really cute. Let me see if I can open this. This was like a photo frame. And they have them for like a bunch of different themes, but it's like a giant monster truck. So you could take a photo inside of it which like he loved doing and then they have little like photo props down here that you can hold up which i thought was adorable so something tells me he's going to be into monster trucks and racing stuff for a while so i thought this was stuff was actually worth investing in and we could definitely reuse it i always like to come up with different unique ideas for different holidays shane isn't really a big card person so in the past i've always done the hearts on the doors which you've probably seen everyone do at this point but write down like different things that you love about your like significant other or your child so then they wake up every morning to a new one 
But this year I decided to like write out what I would normally put in a Valentine's Day card for Shane and I hung them on hearts and then put them like above the roses there on a table. And he told me he like absolutely loved it this year because it's something that he can easily store away and he can go back and read. I still laugh this day, probably, I think it was our first Valentine's Day we celebrated together. He was technically, he didn't live like in our college town anymore. He had graduated at that point. So what I did was, is in his Valentine's Day card, I like took like lipstick and like made kiss marks and I wrote like little like messages on the back of them and he still has them in his wallet to this day so it's like little things like that matter a lot or you can leave little notes for your loved ones and honestly those are sometimes just as special as like a fancy bouquet of flowers or an overpriced hallmark card this is probably one of my new favorite gadgets that I have it's so easy to store it's by Hamilton Beach it's a little like you can make egg bites as well as hard boiled eggs. I always have such a hard time like overcooking my eggs or undercooking them and being pregnant and a diabetic, it's like we need high protein, quick, easy things I can grab on the go and the amount of snacking that I have to do, this has been a huge lifesaver. Eggs have been one of my biggest cravings this pregnancy. I don't know why, but I've, so I'm so glad that I have this. It has saved me so much time. So about one or two times a week, I go ahead and prep um, about a dozen or half a dozen eggs for like hard boiled eggs and then almost every other morning I make like little egg bites and honestly there's some really good recipes out there that you can make them taste just like the, your favorite ones at Starbucks or like Dunkin Donuts or any of your favorite places. my goals for this year is to try to close out our kitchen every night run our dishwasher every night so in the morning you have nice clean dishes that you can easily put away and the other thing is I don't like having like our drying rack out on the counter here it just looks cluttered I like coming down to like all of our countertops being cleaned off and open clean and fresh so what I'm going to try to do is hand dry whatever I put in this drying rack and put it away as soon as I possibly can Soon, this upcoming week, I'm going to be filming a video on my cleaning routine and things that I've implemented this year that have changed my life to make things so much easier. I just know with little girl coming and just my mental anxiety and just in general, I don't function well in a cluttered home and space. And these are little tricks that I've done now for the last month and a half that have made a huge difference between a cleaning schedule, um, always doing a lot, load of laundry every single day. So... I'm going to head and try to film that here for you this upcoming week. There should be about like, I think it was like 10 to 12 different things that I've done. So let me know if you're interested in something like that. how excited I am to have this kitchen done. Just painting the cabinets white has completely brightened up this entire space. Hopefully we'll have it done here in the next couple of weeks. We just have to finish off the backsplash a little bit, the grout, and then sand down the island and stain it. So I'm thinking about doing it. It's like a deep brown. Um, we're trying to use like a gel stain so it fills in all the holes as much as we can. back and forth on if we were going to redo these countertops or not and honestly we might just go ahead and keep them just for financial reasons we priced it out and it's so expensive to get new countertops especially in the spaces where we have them currently um, but honestly brightening up the cabinets made us like tolerate them a little bit better if that makes sense plus honestly if we paint them we don't really know like down the road like saleability like buyers probably won't want that they're going to want to see the true granite countertops Decluttering and downsizing a lot of Declan's toys up here in this space has made a world of difference. It's a little bit more cluttered right now because Declan obviously just had two birthday parties and he got some really great things from a lot of our family and friends. So I'm going to go ahead and sort through these 
as much as I can, but I know he'll be down after nap time and will want to play with all this. So I'm going to take the time probably this weekend to sort through some of the stuff that he hasn't been playing with in a while and um, rotate the newer items out and then move some of them downstairs and then try to rotate whatever's downstairs into storage for a couple weeks and then I'll bring it back out again. If you are interested in the video on how I did a Declan's toy rotation, I will go ahead and link it here for you. to do another toy rotation for Declan. So I'm trying to pull out some of the ones I noticed he hasn't played with a ton since Christmas. I noticed that he hasn't been playing with these quite as much upstairs unless we have people over. So I'm gonna rotate some of the stuff downstairs and bring him up here. So like he loves this farm, but he hasn't touched it up here in a while. But I know if I put it downstairs, he's more likely to play with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and combine all the Lego boxes and try to discard some of these bigger ones. And then here is just a mess. He got excuse me a couple more pieces for his um, wooden train set so those are like the trusses back there I have to go ahead and go through all this I'll probably have Shane help me sort through this later um, a lot of this is his new birthday stuff that he just got so I'm going to pull out some of the old stuff so he can play with his new things right now at the moment but overall not too bad I have to go ahead and move those we are looking for new end tables we've had these since Shane was in college they're from Ikea but we haven't found anything that we really like, and honestly, with kids, they beat the crap out of these anyways, as you can see. Declan likes to pick this up and, like, eat his snacks on it, so I don't know. We have to try to find something, but not too bad. I think we got a decent amount done today. All right, I think I'm going to head and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you mind hitting that subscribe button, follow along for more. I plan on hopefully doing a clean and organize of our office. I really want to set up like a homeschooling station for Declan. So I'm trying to organize a little spot we have in our office for him for that, as well as upcoming nursery reveal, our officially our kitchen reveal whenever we get done with that, as well as much more content please hit the subscribe button and share with anyone you know this might help them. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Singing, oh, everybody singing, oh.